Hello everybody, welcome back. This is episode number 25 of the Amber Army YouTube's Championship Manager 0102 Retro Series with Aston Villa. As you can see there, we're in fifth place and about to play a very, very big game indeed. So, let's have a little look at what we've got to look forward to in this episode. Right the hole, we have Arsenal at home, Middlesbrough away and then Liverpool away. Two massive games. One tough away game, one mammoth away game and a very difficult home game. Let's have a little look at the league table and Millsborough around about mid-table, so an away game there. We may be able to do all right in that one, but I'd imagine Arsenal at home are going to be a tough one. Um, they got three games in hand over us and they were point in front, so if we want to break into that top four, we do have to beat them. Obviously we lost that really tight game against Chelsea and then away at Liverpool. We'll start to lose and draw some games now. But they're still six points clear at top. Chelsea have a game in hand over them. This league table could get quite could get quite interesting actually. So uh let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into game number one and we'll take on Arsenal at home. So here we are. We're ready to take on Arsenal. So this is the team I've gone with. Robinson retains his left back spot. Curtis at right back. West Melberg, Elise, Bakirog, Glue, Bergstrom. Langley takes central midfield because um Sabea is away on international duty. Tony and Vassal who's come into a good bit of form as you can see you look at that team over there for those who remember this game and remember some of the better players on it Cristiano Doni, Philippe Mexes well, obviously Thierry Henry and Francis Jeffers is actually pretty decent on this game as well but this is going to be a tough tough match let's hope for the best on this one Arsenal come out attacking hopefully we can catch them out if that's the case so the first chance go went to Arsenal Jeff has fluffed it. Oh, offside, Tony. Thought we were breaking. Uh, thought we were creating something then. At least he makes the block. Good lad. And obviously, uh. Our new Italian goalkeeper is obviously uh, doing well for us so far. So we're keeping the mate, but then they're definitely having the be better of the game so far. Vieira on a booking for the rest of the game, that's definitely a an advantage to us. We just can't seem to create anything at the moment. It's all them for the first 20 minutes or so. Got to make something happen. Thankfully they haven't got their shooting boots on yet. But with the firepower they've got it's only a matter of time really if we keep giving them chances and there it is and an unlock oh it don't stand another <laughs> another disallowed goal yeah, we've been getting a lot of them in our favour lately but look it is one way traffic at the moment West is on a booking and there it is it was coming was definitely coming. Finally, we got a chance. Oh, I thought we were going to score then. Yes! Oh, it took us to go one, one goal down to actually get ourselves back into the game, but well, actually get into the game at all. But uh, fair play, Vassell. And the goalkeeper makes a good save there. Tony's book, not good. So we defended well towards the end of the half then. So we've edged our way back into this game now There's another good save from the keeper that's a yellow oh no he's been
been booked already. I didn't realise. Ah, sh shite. Oh, right, okay. What are we going to do now? We go Langley. No, cancel that. Cancel that. No. Luca Tony's having a stinker. Well, he's not having a stinker, but he's not playing too well and he's booked. We'll do it this way. The best we can hope for really now is going to be a draw, I guess. Riviera over the bar. So hope, hope they can go down to 10 men as well. Doesn't always happen. So we're still looking to try and create chances even though we're down to 10. But we're just not following it through. Bergstrom for Bacchini. Oh, Lee says he's not looking too clever. But we need we need him for now. Oh my god, there it is. Cutting. I thought we may have been able to hold on for the draw in this. Especially for the game that that keeper has had as well. Oh, not Arsenal, we want Aston Villa, don't we? Okay, so we'll take Elise off Hendry. We're already losing. Let's bring on some of the little bit of a, an attacking spark from midfield, see if we can carve out one last chance. Oh, and Vassell had it then. chance we were blocked in the box oh come on it's almost 3-1 then can we? no gutting I think the sending off was the the killing, the killing part of this game is, is what killed us. <sighs> Still in fifth place though, but the teams below us are very, very close to us now. Arsenal stretching away. Arsenal could go top, couldn't they? Three games, three games could be nine points. Yeah, Arsenal could go top with the team that they got. It wouldn't surprise me if they do. Now. For me, that makes Middlesbrough a must-win away. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can make amends in that game. Because looking at it, the losses, we still lost six games. I don't like that. At 18, six of 18. That's a third of our games we've lost. We should be doing better than that with the team that we got. But let's see if we can alter things in the Middlesbrough game. Okay, so here we are, the Middlesbrough away game. Um, Sabea scored two goals from midfield for South Africa whilst on international duty he takes his place back in the team Langley dropped to the bench and Hendry is dropped altogether and um, Gareth Barry has to take a place on the bench because j -Load Samuel picked up a knock in midweek and didn't quite make it for this game other than that we are unchanged say and in need of a bloody goal well not just a goal but a win sorry I meant to say win but the middles will start the game looking the brighter the two sides and nearly 20 minutes in we haven't whoop, apologies for that guys I'll get rid of that So 
nearly half hour in, we haven't been able to create a thing. And it is all Middlesbrough. It took us a while to get going in the Arsenal game, mind you. Yes! So Robinson's ban doesn't happen until the next game. Get in there and get yourself a goal. Before it does happen. Boxit's putting it wide. Not like him, he usually scores against the Cedars. Always scored against me on this game, Boxit, Chav. Berg, so I'm not going to get in on the scoring. Unlucky son. So we're edging our way back into this game now. They've been the better of the two teams. Our goal came completely against the run of play. But we're playing some good football and putting them under some serious pressure now. Really like a second goal now really use the second goal and they're down to 10 men now that'll certainly help things Still want that second goal. Oh, I've got that feeling about them. Oh, Bergstrom just over. Alright, let's have a little look. Vassell could do with a little rest. Lee says okay back your hard glue Bergstrom any of them playing badly particularly could do with taking Bergstrom off for Bacchini see a different winger different wing option and get a better ball into the box for the big men Tony there it is come from the other side there was a thought process in it there we go that's two and that's got to be the game now Only looking to get another one. Okay, so I'd say Olise or Sibaya. What can we do? We'll take off Sibaya, he's just come back from international duty. Let's uh, give him a little rest. 13 minutes left, plus stoppage time, 2 0 up. Down, uh, other team down to 10 men. Should be a sure thing, really. Let the clock tick. This is three valuable points for us. I say we're going to get a third. Could certainly use the goal difference. There it is, final whistle. It's a good win. Bit of a confidence booster ready for the Liverpool game. Let's see what, what that does for us in the table. Keeps us in fifth. Keeps us in touch and distance of the top four. I don't think we're getting in the top three. I think West Brom's spot is the realistic aim to try and get. So uh, we can at least get uh, some European football on the go for next season. Uh, still conceding too many goals for my liking. But to see West Brom had only conceded two less than us. But we've scored six more than them. Only thing is though, they've only lost four. We've lost six. Liverpool will be a big game. I'm not going to expect anything from that being as they're 11 points clear of us but you never know if we win this game they'll be 8 points clear of us and the title could still potentially be on mathematically at least anyway realistically not but I'll see you in the next game guys 
Okay then, so the final game of the episode, we still got Robinson, so we're unchanged from the, the win at Middlesbrough. Still got Robinson, he's not banned yet, I think it's been delayed because I, I appealed it. I don't think we've got anything back on that appeal yet, so it's Boxing Day, so I think this is going to be the last game of 2002 for us. So, uh, unchanged, here we go. Liverpool starting positively as you'd expect them to. But if our defence and goalkeeper have a good game with the firepower that we've got, I'd, I'd, I'd fancy us against anyone in the world, to be honest with you. That's why I really hope we get the chance in Europe next year, because I think with a couple of extra additions, I think we'll be laughing. And ah, uh, me bigging our team up. Every time I do that, we always fall behind or concede a goal or something. Side of the post from distance. See, Luca Tony, he's a beast on this game. I feel he needs a bit better service, though. We're actually, getting a bit closer than what we did in the Arsenal game at this point I was just really thinking about where we really need to strengthen when we do get some money again of course Oof, just wide from Vassell so they've only scored the one goal. Oh, look at Tony. <laughs> when he wins in the air, you always fancy it. I think Bergstrom could do a dropping, actually. Couldn't think of it. I think Bacchini needs to get his chance to start the games again. You know, it's from the left, then it had to be Robinson who put the ball in. Oh, come on. I suppose defeat was always on the cards in this one. They beat us on the opening game of the season. And our big hitters just aren't performing at the moment. Olaf Melberg's having a poor game. I'm going to bring on J. Lode Samuel. Might seem a bit, you know, a bit much really. But I don't care. On a yellow card and playing poorly might make a bit of a difference see Bergstrom just haven't been putting in the performances in the last couple of games Jonathan Bacchini he's 8 assists this year maybe I should be looking at that more than the average rating 8 assists is really good chances at the beginning of this game at the beginning of this half I mean what we need is a goal and a bit of confidence in this team Let's see our big players are just not performing in this one front so we can get some balls in the box someone else to aim for it's all Liverpool towards the end now eh? looks like we're not going to get any chances at all So 
So, a bit of a tough episode this one, guys. As we drop down into sixth, Man United are coming back into the in, in into the frame now. And to be honest with you, I don't even think top five is is even going to be achievable. Looking at it now, seven losses now at the twenty game mark. The thing is, we've won nine. Winning nine out of twenty just isn't top five material, I'm afraid. So we've just still got Leeds who are going to have a bit of a resurgence, I'm sure. West Brom, we know, are a cracking team on this version. So, I don't think we've really got any money to make any more signings, to be honest with you guys. All we've got to hope for is Bosman Rulings. Bosman Rulings who want to leave and we can pick them up for 1k. That's a possibility. It could be something we could look at in the next episode, guys. So, that's the end of that one. What we got to look forward to in the next episode before we go so it's FA Cup third round Man United home Fulham away and then away at Southampton in the FA Cup so Man United at home a direct rival at the moment in the league so we do have one more game left in 2002 so we can hopefully get something against Man United two wins there I'm going to be selfish I'm going to be greedy and ask for two wins in that one and an FA Cup fourth round so the perfect episode <laughs> a lot to ask for really but we need the points on the board because we're starting to slip away. We had a really good game, well, a really good episode last time. We were unlucky against Millwall, I felt, but then we won 3 0 and 3 0. We overwhelmed these two teams, but then we sort of slipped because we're playing against two of the mammoths of the d division. Maybe in this next episode we can see a little bit better. So, guys, that's the end of that episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I noticed uh, that a Birmingham fan. Uh, subscribe to us and then unsubscribe because of this um, if you're an Aston Villa fan you'll probably find that funny personally I want everybody to feel as though they can be a part of this so we've got a lot more going on than just this series so if you are a Birmingham fan have a look at some of our other videos obviously this isn't going to be an, enjoy an enjoyable one for you but Villa fans hope you're enjoying this series hope you stick with it and as always until the next time cheerio for now thank you